Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, in today's reading, we're gonna be taking a look at the collective energy for the week ahead. This is not a pick a card, it's a collective reading. Um, so it will resonate for some of you. If this is not an interest of you, then you know that that's what we're gonna do today. Um, as always though, I'm gonna start off by connecting to the collective energy of the week ahead. So let me just tap right in here. So Spirit, are you able to connect me to the energy of the collective regarding the week ahead? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for the collective so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Please continue to keep the collective safe and protected throughout this week and throughout all of the weeks of their life. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We really do appreciate you and we love you so, so much. So thank you. Okay, I was actually hearing innovation, okay? Which is a great word, I think, to hear. Um, some of you guys are gonna be feeling very innovative this week. You may decide to do something in a different way or you're really looking at expanding a specific thing in your life. For many of you, this is going to be work-related, but for some of you, it's even gonna be just like with the day-to-day -day running of your household. Um, I was also hearing appreciate. So I think some of you are going to be working with the attitude of gratitude this particular week, which again is really, really great. Um, there's a sense of like feeling, I guess, happy is honestly how I feel. So for those of you who have not been feeling that vibrational frequency for some time, this could be a really wonderful week where you just feel very expanded, happy, excited, and just ready to move things forward. So really, really nice energy there. Um, I am getting like an underlying feeling of restlessness though. So some, some of you could be feeling a little frustrated or a little restless with the energy. Seeing a lot of fire too. So this could be physical fires um, or again, like energy creation energy, energy to want to strive forward and push things. Let's take a look, please. What do we need to know for the collective energy regarding the week ahead? Chrysocola, start fresh. Blue lace agate, find your calm. And appetite, get out of your comfort zone. Okay, obviously there's a little theme here with these blue, blue stones. Um, very interesting. Well, with Chris Cola and with Appetite, I do feel there's this desire to move things forward this week. There's a desire to work with fresh energy. Like I, maybe that's where that restless energy was coming through because I feel like there is a desire to speak up, to create something new, to move into a new way of thinking and understanding. Some of you could be very drawn to the ocean or to the water this week. I do feel there needs to be balance with the steps that you're taking to move forward. So let's say you are wanting to create something new for yourself. That's really great. But with the blue lace agate in the middle, there is a significant um, energy of needing to balance out your yourself and to kind of make sure that you're creating a sense of flow, I guess. You can't just steamroll forward collective, okay? Like make sure that you're kind of taking the middle ground. You might want to work with blue this week. You might want to work with your throat chakra this week because I would consider all of these, um, you know, kind of around that space, upper chakras for sure. Some of you are finally going to make like a very surprising decision to walk away from something. This could be correlating with the full moon in Capricorn that's taking place on July 3rd. Because there is like this energy of, you know, I'm just going to make this decision. This is like... I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to make this decision. Regardless of if other people around me are going to make the same decision, I don't care. I'm just going to make this decision quickly. And that's okay. But again, there's a need to really balance things out. Some of you may need to get an eye checkup this week. You might not be seeing things clearly. This could be literally like uh, you have to get your eyes checked or figuratively, right? So just keep that in mind. Seek. Great week for meditation, you guys. Great week for... Um, Tapping into your, your spiritual center, tapping into, again, balance, flow, number nine energy, all about completion, um, seeking. What is, what is it that you're seeking? I think everything that you're seeking is probably within you, especially with this kind of a graphic. So great week to consider meditation, especially if you guys are wanting something new, but you're not exactly sure how to get from point A to point B. Embrace getting a lot of like planetary energy coming through this week. Um, so the collective could be really focused on the planet, which I actually see is a really great thing. So there could be a lot of emphasis on 
How can we make things better with the planet? How do we make things um, flow more with the planet? You know, like maybe cleanup groups or groups of like really talking about global warming, um, climate change, taking care of the earth like she takes care of us. So there's a really strong eco energy this week coming through, which I think is kind of interesting. Oh, of course, of course, throw chakra. I love when spirit is so synchronistic. I feel like we got this card last week. Did we not get this card last week? I feel like this is not the first time we've seen this, this kind of a card, the synchronistic, um, the throat chakra card, I mean. So if this also came up last week, then, you know, throat is an issue. Um, and I wasn't surprised to see that because we got all of these throat chakra stones. So really, really important this week for the collective to be very um, aware of what they're saying and how they are saying it is what I'm hearing. So you may want to have a conversation with somebody, but make sure that you're doing it from a place of love and not a place of like blame is what I'm hearing. You might also want to work with writing down or talking out loud to yourself, recording yourself, talking about what it is that you actually are wanting to create. Important dates here could be July 3rd, July 5th, and July 9th. What else? Caution. Manipulation. Enthusiasm. Secrets. Okay. Some of you may reveal a secret or you may hear a secret about someone. This person could have um, Sagittarius placements. Scorpio placements, Virgo placements. I do feel there's like this underlying realm of manipulation. As someone who could literally just be getting manipulated by a Sagittarius person, because the only one we have here is Sun and Sag, or you could be self-manipulating. Others of you, I think there's a really strong interest in like cultures or religions that are not yours or that are from far away. So some of you could go way down the rabbit hole this week of um, learning all about, you know, Egypt or something. Like there's like a niche subject that you guys may really focus on this week. We have a lot of scorpionic energy and we also have bottom of the deck. We have intuition with cancer energy. So you guys might want to work with uncovering truths or really taking a good hard look at filtering information that's coming your way through your guidance system to make sure that it's accurate. Because I feel there's like, this week you could figure out or you could understand that somebody around you has actually been manipulating you or lying to you. Some of you are going to be dealing with very big feelings or emotions that are not comfortable this week that might surprise you. Um, Spirit's really saying that that's okay. You know, they're bringing these emotions up for you to see and to clear. It's not meant to hurt you or punish you. Yeah, we have fights. I'm telling you, someone here could get in a fight this week with a Sagittarius, Scorpio, or Virgo person. Um, yeah, and this could be around like religion or around uh, a lie that essentially gets released or understood this week. This says you can't fight every single battle that presents itself in your life. Some battles should be avoided so that you can save your energy for the battles you, that make sense and mean the most to you. Walking away is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of maturity. Pick and choose our, your battles. Sometimes it's not just worth, sometimes it's just not worth your time or energy. Um, interesting. Like with that Chrysocola energy, right? I do feel some of you could even decide, you know, that, that this is like not worth fighting for. I am hearing that. Um, you might just decide to walk away from somebody. You could have friction around you though. This could be really, I'm getting a multitude of different places. So this could be with a lover, a friend, work is coming through, or even somebody in your community. Somebody in your community, I'm hearing <laughs> spirits saying, they could say something really dumb and this could make you feel like you want to argue with them. But you're also going to be using your best, um, you are going to be trying to balance things out. So interesting. What else for the collective for the week ahead? We have control your emotions. Yeah, there's definitely a sense of you maybe deciding, I don't want to fight. I'm just going to walk away. Don't act out of passion. Think about the consequences your actions may bring. Instead of instantly reacting to things, give yourself time to cool off a bit. Then you can respond. Control your emotions and then react. Yeah, that's essentially like the kind of energy of the whole week. Like maybe you do want to say something with the throat chakra, but you are being asked to be moderate and really tapping into your own frequency this week so that you're able to to talk and to really vocalize properly because if you're reacting out of anger 
um, you might say something that's not even really what you're thinking, first of all. And secondly, your point is not going to be heard. So some of you might be like taking a pause on talking to somebody about something that hurt you. Um, you might want to go outside in the sun. Some of you might um, be dealing with somebody who's a gamer. We have user intuition. And again, we had intuition on the bottom of the, the little astrology deck. So intuition is really coming up here in a strong way. This card says, trust your gut feelings at this time. It's your direct connection to spirit. This ability helps you navigate life better and find your way forward. Connect to your natural gifts. Use this gift and start taking charge of your life. Yeah, a lot of your, I mean, we are in cancer season right now, right? Cancers are very intuitive. I say this as a cancer son myself, but I feel like there's a lot of like, um, nods or pushes from spirit this week that is going to be a little bit surprising, but you're being asked to trust what you're getting. Okay. Um, but some of you might be wanting to pay attention to your dreams. Some people, you might, you might like, I'm noticing all the eyes here too. So you could have somebody watching you or talking about something that will make you realize that someone's keeping a close eye on you this week. Tell me more, please. Can I get a card for their love life this week for the collective? We have photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Interesting. Someone is definitely looking at pictures of you in some capacity. This could be pictures that they already have. You guys could also find that you're reminiscing a lot or maybe you're looking at photos. Um, but there's like a reminiscing energy coming through. Feeling like very um, nostalgic this week. But you could also be feeling like somebody's pulling on your energy past people. I want one more. <laughs> Thank you. We have keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Yeah, some of you are um, going to be surprised by different options this week. And you may, again, be picking up on somebody from the past that is really pulling on your energy. This might make you feel a little bit frustrated. But I feel like you might also be like, you know, I don't care about this past person. I'm just going to pursue other options. But this week, you may have multiple people who express some kind of romantic interest in you. From the angel deck, we have nine of Raphael. Make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. Wish fulfillment, you guys. Really, really nice energy here. Um, and we did have seek. There's a strong emphasis on meditation, tapping into um, that frequency of meditation so that you're able to connect with what it is that you truly want. Really, really strongly coming through here. I feel like... Okay. Someone here has been crying over a specific situation and it's almost like this week there's like a feeling of I'm done. I'm not going to cry over this anymore. I'm finished. And it's actually opening up the doorway for more, um, more people who are actually on your level. Okay. So if there has been a lot of emotions recently, a lot of crying specifically, um, this is coming to an end, which I think is really great. Strong Sagittarius energy around you or near you this week. Yeah, we have new beginnings. Love this. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, forgiving, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Yeah, definitely past energy, but I don't think you guys want to go back there, if that makes sense. There's a sense of like, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to move um, into a new state of being. And this is going to usher in a lot of happiness and a wish fulfillment that you have been waiting for for a long time so there is this energy of newness coming in or kind of feeling like i'm tired of the past i'm ready to move forward and that's just what i'm going to be focusing on we have perfect timing some of you this week may experience a very exciting synchronistic turn of events where you feel like all of a sudden um, the perfect thing happened at the perfect time. There's definitely flow energy and there's definitely synchronistic energy. So you guys are going to be feeling very, very happy about this. Um, it's going to make you feel excited, but there is something that is finally going to happen this week. I think you guys have been hoping for for a long time. But of course, perfect timing you know, that often is spirit's timing, not necessarily our timing. So there is that underlying feeling of, okay, um, spirit knows what they want to do here, but like, could you hurry up a little bit? So you're just being asked to be patient because there's a lot being woven behind the scenes. Some of you may um, be perfectly on time for all of your appointments this week. That could make you feel very, very happy. We have practice compassion, see things from a fresh perspective. I love that card. You're being asked to be compassionate towards the earth, 
You're being asked this week to be compassionate towards yourself and you may even be compassionate towards somebody around you that is annoying you, that has been manipulative. So there's a very mature energy to the collective this week that I really like. It's very warm and it's very much like getting ready to open up and care for other people and yourself. Spend some time outside if you can. In the forest, near water would be really, really great if you could find some time to do that um, because I feel a lot of expansion around the heart chakra if you're able to be outside especially in the sun and again near water there's a lot of bliss that can come out of that um but yeah very beautiful energy great week as well to connect with your inner child i feel a lot of warmth um there's a lot of fun this week as well if you will allow yourself to have it um but yeah this feels pretty pretty good honestly minus the manipulation in the fights but hey we can't have a perfect week can we i'm sending you all a big hug i hope you're doing well we'll talk later Bye bye